what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. Um, so where's Ryan? We got this extra empty seat here. What's yeah. up? Oh yeah, that's right. He's live <laughs> in West Hollywood. He's not here today. That's right, because it's award season, and up next, the Critics' Choice Awards are coming up. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, Ryan, in West Hollywood, how's it there? It's outstanding, you guys. The weather's amazing, and I'm so excited. You know, the little, the little boy in me that was raised in Milwaukee, growing up, dreaming about Hollywood, coming to an event like this as an adult, like, it's just it's the coolest thing in the world for me. I never thought I'd have the experience on an annual basis to come and participate in something as cool as this is to me, you know? Yeah, that is so neat, Ryan. And I was just thinking about the fact that it's the 25th annual Critics' Choice Awards. This is something that you do every year since I've known you. How exciting for you to be there year after year and experience all of the things that Tiff and I have seen, too, mm -hmm. with you in person, the red carpet and all the celebrities and the event itself. I love that you both have been here with me at different times to experience how outstanding it is. You know, seeing the celebrities in person, judging their heights and seeing the sweat stains and getting to sit in the same room with them as it all happens. There's nothing else like it. It just doesn't compare to like watching an awards show on TV. But the nominations this year are really unique. 2019 was such an outstanding year for film. So many great movies. I think I recommended like 85% of the movies that I saw last year. And the nominations really reflect it. It's interesting this year, the Irishman, the Netflix movie, that three and a half hour movie, right? Martin Scorsese got 14 nominations, leading the nominations pack with 14. The last time a movie got 14 nominations at the Critics' Choice Awards, 2017 was La La Land. Wow. Whoa. Yeah. That's really cool. Okay, yeah. so who did you vote for? Because here's the deal. I, I don't know if everybody realizes that you get to vote on all the awards. I do, and I love voting for it. And what's really interesting about the categories that we do get to vote for is it differs from the Oscars and the Golden Globes. We have uh, different categories like Best Young Actor, Best Acting Ensemble, Best Action Film, Best Comedy, Best Sci-Fi Horror Movie. So there's more cooler awards than just the technical ones that some people snooze during the Oscars while watching. But also we have a lot more nominees. So in the main acting categories for Best Actor and Best Actress, there are seven nominees each, whereas normally it's like five for the Oscars, the supporting actor and actress categories have six nominees each, so the competition is a lot harder. I found it very difficult choosing who to vote for this year because there were so many performances that I authentically really liked. And I think that's so cool when you have such good stuff, good material yeah. to select from. Tiff and I always vote you one of the most fashionable people we have on the show, so we're dying to know what Aww. you are going to be wearing. Well, you know, we do have to up the game. As you can see here, I actually got a prop. This is an actual Critics' Choice Award, the Critic. It feels so heavy. It's really fun to watch. And they have an eight-foot one that they made as a promotional. I know, you think that would fit in my family room if I could get it back on the plane with me? I would love it. But, you know, I stressed out about what to wear. And here's, I'm going to give you a hint. If I have the cojones to pull it off, Sunday at the Critics' Choice Awards, for me, it's going to be all about the shoes. Yeah, baby. yeah. That's right, because I know you brought a couple different choices, so I hope that you've got the guts yes. to do the cool ones. I haven't even seen them I yet, but so I assume too. they're cool. Um, okay, so where are you going to be sitting? People that know me can guess what they might be. I don't know where I'm going to be sitting. I'm, I, I asked to be seated with uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber if he's even going to be there because he's nominated for his original song for Cats, um, the songwriters for the, so the song from Frozen 2 that Adina Menzel sings. So you never know until you show up who you're going to be sitting with. I just hope for a really great seat regardless of whether or not there are any celebrities there. But, of course, it never hurts if Meryl Streep is at your table, right? Yeah. Or, or Nicole Kidman. I was Come just going to say, or Nicole Kidman. <laughs> That was so great, um, yeah. Ryan. It was so wonderful to see you live this morning in West Hollywood. We hope you have an absolutely fantastic time at the Critics' Choice Awards. Thanks, guys, and I'll, and I'll bring someone back home for you. We're excited to see you um, and have a blast, like we said. Want to sure, make sure that people know that you can like Ryan J on Facebook. This is a great time to follow him on Instagram and Twitter because he's at the awards show for his full movie reviews and kind of get a hint of everything going on before the awards happen. Check out his website, ryanjreviews.com, to see if the movies that you like, he liked also. All right, and the show is Sunday, 6 p.m. on The CW, so you can check out the Critics' Choice Awards hosted by Tay Diggs. Look for Ryan, right? Awesome, yeah. All right.